as you grow daily physically mentally spiritually you are faced with the realities of life and how you're able to navigate yourself through life is very important even as a christian as a believer because you are definitely following the narrow road and because of that it becomes difficult but doable possible so yeah you are breaking the course of the world which is not an easy road it's not an easy part but you are keeping at it being consistent camping around the feet of your father and you know how that can be and the challenge that comes with it but always coming out victorious is why you are a christian because you will always win you will always win you will always come out victorious it took two weeks off to think to meditate and grow deep spiritually did the devil fight that yes he did but did i come out victorious of course i did What's good ambassadors? It's again Alicia and I'm back with another late video for this channel. My name is Leonard and your chef Alicia and I am a YouTuber, a Christian YouTuber. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time I post and make sure you stay tuned for my next late video. As you can see from the title of this video, I am going to be sharing my testimony on how you guys know I've been away for two weeks, two amazing weeks and God has been teaching me during these two weeks and I have had encounters, trials, tribulations stumbling blocks and identity crisis and there's just a lot that went on during these two weeks and i'm here to share my testimony on how god taught me during this process on how god brought me out successfully and victoriously and i am hoping that this testimony bless you and increase your faith and you are able to change your mindset or mentality on what to do when tribulations come when trials come when stumbling blocks come because those things are inevitable in our christian walk it's just like a journey that you face um um bandits on the road you face robbers you face tires you face a lot of things and there are traffic lights to help you slow down there are um traffic lights that indicates on when you are supposed to move that's just how the christian work is and you face a lot of people on the road and it's not for you now to to look at those people and compare their car with your own or compare like that like that you guys are moving on the journey so there are just a lot of things that are going to stop you and the full well might finish and there's just i'm just giving a, like a physical example for you to understand what i'm talking about so it's like that and yeah and i'm here to give that testimony as you can see i am happy this is the second time i'm shooting this video you guys don't want to know what happened to me in the first video <laughs> so i'm kind of exhausted and but it's all good and i'm happy so guys let's hop into this video two weeks i took two weeks off to like get myself back get my vibe back get everything back and be able to come back happy come back revived come back hyped up in the lord come back with a lot of testimonies in these two weeks and you know when you take time off like that there's a way the enemy corners you there's a way the enemy tries to steal your peace tries to see your joy put in fear identity crisis and a lot and i am here to say i am getting my joy back i am getting my peace back i am going to walk that road and i'm going to come to the end of my christian walk and it's going to be successful i will not just finish the race i will be successful and i will not be a failure not on earth <laughs> I mean the spiritual realm <laughs> so yeah i'm getting that 
success back i am getting my peace back i am getting my joy back fear is not my portion i am happy in the lord i am excited in the lord my trials will come to build me up my tribulations will set the pace for me to move forward ah oh! so two weeks ago last week monday last week monday yeah i started having symptoms of tonsillitis where your tonsils are swollen and they come whitish patches and it's very very irritating they came in very very painful i actually thought it was my teeth growing but it, that was not the case it was actually tonsillitis and it was so painful but my teeth was actually growing but that pain could not even compare could not even um be on the level of the tonsils pain and it was just something else it was something else you know i started this channel last year last year december two years no 2020 december and you know anytime i'm trying to go deep in god anytime i am trying to break into a particular realm the enemy will come because god is saying you don't know the realm you're trying to break in there is no way the enemy is going to allow you and there is no way he will let you be because he knows that you are breaking the course of the world so he was not going to even let you be so anytime that happens the devil the enemy comes from my health it comes it comes from my profit and i've been used to this thing I'm supposed to actually stand in the place of prayer and break it. But somehow I've been allowing him and he has just been taking the glory and just enjoying in that realm and no more anymore. <laughs> no more. So I got used to it because anytime I'm trying to go deep, the devil will come. Anytime I'm trying to go deep, the devil will come. And in those periods of illness and a lot, I keep wondering, I'm like, God, why did you allow this? God, why did you allow this? I never knew God wanted me to actually learn something in that process. I actually thought that maybe God was trying to maybe give me that scar for me to be able to relate or have compassion when i see somebody going through the same thing and i thought that was so that's why i didn't really deep, give any deep prayer to it so i thought that okay i'm going through this pain so that i can be able to release although that is also the case but the part of me um being angry with god although i'm not supposed to be angry with god but inside of me is saying you can never be angry with god and inside of me is saying that god why did you allow this why why is this happening to me because the pain gets too much and it came in typhoid malaria like that like that different kinds of illness and then sores in my mouth and this time around tonsillitis was the, was the case it attacked me and it was so much monday tuesday it kept increasing on wednesday i by midnight i was i, I was fed up i had it up to here and i was like felicia you cannot take this anymore because i experienced what when people say i cannot sleep in the night ah believe them when people say i cannot sleep in the night it's painful because your eyes are widely open in intense pain i was like compared to the pain that people go through during the de delivery this is so much ah and your own will be like till daybreak till daybreak because monday i could not sleep monday's pain was so intense tuesday wednesday that wednesday i said i cannot take it again i went to my dad i was like daddy take me to the hospital for just one injection one injection one injection me praying for just one injection and there's another person there sleeping like a baby you can imagine this is life for you <laughs> so you know when um exodus tells of the story of um the people the children of israel how moses brought them out god told them that i am going to harden the heart of pharaoh and he will not let people go just for him to learn something out of not, not letting go so that he will know that god is not his mate so that was what actually happened uh god hardened the heart of my dad who, hmm, before he would just take us to the hospital or he would just say okay go to the hospital but this time around he was like don't you have faith don't you have faith don't worry have faith in, to, in the morning we will treat this thing in the morning we will treat it with the correct drugs because those two days as god will have it they were not giving me the correct drugs for the um infection they were not giving me the correct drugs and i don't know why i went to the pharmacy like twice they didn't give me the correct drugs because what that th one thing with that thing when you take the correct drugs it goes it start going immediately because it fights it and it's allergic to those drugs it doesn't like those drugs so it just shrinks and go away but ah uh, 
God wanted me to really learn. <laughs> so people in the pharmacy were not actually giving me the correct drugs for it. And that was what happened. And in I, I got to the peak in the night, around that kind of 12, 11, 1. I got to the peak of the pain. I got to the peak and I was like, God, I cannot take this anymore. My mentor called me. He prayed. He was so angry in his spirit. He prayed for me. But he didn't even know that the problem is me. <laughs> I am the problem. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is me my mindset on when this nest comes and how i think things through and that needed to be changed and god needed to like teach me in that phase and like that so it was so much that i cried and cried i kept crying and kept crying i could not take it anymore i picked my bible at that very moment i opened the bible the first page i opened psalm 40 i read it by the time i was done i got my relief immediately that was the first time i experienced miracle as such i got my relief immediately immediately i was not even done reading psalm 40 I got to the middle of the scripture i was reading and i was reading and crying with tears in my eyes god gave me that relief immediately and god was like hey, hey now you come it's not about being angry it's not about doing those things you do and you're blaming oh god why did you allow it god why did you allow it it is actually literally taking my word back to you see is my word the devil will not fight my word the devil will not fight my word. It's taking my word back to me. When you take my word back to me, and then you can now start crying. You know, the cats are just, uh, will start coming out, and then that's when it becomes juicy. You see all this crying without the word? It's, it's prayer, but it will not carry weight the way you are taking the word back to him, and then you are crying with that kata in your nose, and it's amazing. That's what joins everything, and God hears. It's like a sweet sensing server i don't want to say smelling server <laughs> to god and god inclined his ears to my prayer and then he healed me he healed me and that moment i was able to sleep like a baby i did not get any pain it's also funny how and the devil always come and say ah you took drugs as if you took drugs hours ago why was it not even working <laughs> it was like you took drugs hours ago it's not even god it's maybe it's the drugs that is working now i was like i can never be deceived this is god this is god this is god that god believe immediately is god this is it can only be god there are some things that god will do you'll be like nothing can fight it this is the hand of god so i was done and i slept to the next day and henceforth speedy recovery my recovery was very fast i went to the pharmacy the next day they gave me the correct drugs and he fought those things and everything was fine and you see when god wanted to teach me these things he actually made them to give me wrong drugs so that i will keep taking and then i will come to the end of myself god is looking for that brokenness in us the point where you are broken there is nothing that will work at that moment there was nothing that was working ah and then i realized i have a god i have a god i knew all this why that i am supposed to take the word back to him but the soul that was fighting my spirit i'll put it like that did not allow me to just pick that bible and then speak those words into my body and the moment i realized i was broken and god had mercy on me mercy god had mercy on me and he granted me that quick recovery quick recovery and you know these two weeks has been awesome i am grateful for the illness because i learned something next time because <laughs> i'm not praying for next time but in case <laughs> i'm not praying for next time but in case anything comes and you, you know how to handle the situation you have learned in that area you have grown in that area that you're supposed to take god's word back to him and not be angry that he allowed the sickness because sometimes we are angry at god why did you allow this and then we are angry at god even though one side of us know that we still love god and we it's just it's just the human side of yours that comes out and you're like god why did you allow this and you know at that moment when you you you, you don't you're not going back to the word of god the devil always comes that's when you start going to go to ask what is tonsillitis and how will he be cured what are the things to do to stop it you'll be using your power to to control something that you know your god can handle you you now start seeing that because these tonsils they said if it's which is the point you it affects your voice you can't talk like that anymore and you just see all those kind of things our fear comes in and then the personality of god in you will be shrinked down and then you doubt god so it is a very very negative place to be and i was reading the book of exodus when moses left egypt he was 40 years old 
when he went to his father-in-law's house, Jethro, in Midian. He was 40 years old. And he, he, the, the father-in-law gave him, of course, his daughter. And again, he tendered the father-in-law's um, animals, sheep, and the rest. By the time God called Moses, he was 80 years old. And I'm sitting there reading the scripture. And I'm like, it took 40 years for God to find Moses usable. It took 40 years for God to be able to use Moses. And I'm like, wow. God, I do not want to get to that point where I'm like 30 years before you'll be able to use me. Although there are a lot of things that God will have to prune in us. He will trim the way you trim the flowers, you prune it, you decorate it like that. God will have to do all those kind of things to find you usable, to find you worthy. Although they say he, he does not call the, the perfect. He calls the imperfect and makes them perfect. But I think... The, calling the imperfect is also the process of pruning you, trimming you, and bringing you, bringing that beauty out of you. And just like the way it took two years for me to learn and be broken, that even though in spite of the pain, in spite of the intense pain, go back to God's word and do not be angry. Do not keep asking God, why do you allow this? Instead, take the word of God back to him. The only God God knows is his word. He has exalted his word higher than his name. And it's so amazing that I've learned this during this period. And you know, the enemy came with all sorts of identity crises. Words, negative words were used on me. And I was able to like even bear it and even be able to smile with you guys in this video. Because so there are some times that people say some things and you're just like, ah, ah God, what's up? Are you sure I'm doing this your will? Are you sure I'm carrying out your will? Are you sure I'm doing the right things? And then you question your identity in Christ, you give up and then you easily, you're easily frustrated, you easily question yourself. Instead of you to pick yourself back, pick what you need to pick and correct yourself and move on. So there was just a lot this week and two weeks, these two weeks and I am grateful. I went through those processes and came out strong and came out this state that i am and this mindset i have and i am grateful and i am happy to share this testimony with you guys and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video so if you enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're new turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time i post and make sure you stay tuned for my next lit video love you guys i'll see you guys in my next video